Eight News is looking into allegations an inmate assaulted a Richmond Sheriff's deputy inside the jail in the nearly two weeks since this assault. We've been trying to get answers from the Sheriff's Office. Eight News is taking action tonight, digging into what happened at the Richmond City Jail. Eight News reporter Ben Dennis has more. Eric Deanna, my sources say it was a female sheriff's deputy who was allegedly assaulted by a male inmate inside the Richmond City Jail. That was 12 days ago, and since then, we've been pressing for answers only to get the cold shoulder. A jailhouse assault in Richmond? According to an internal report, Sakim Bell allegedly assaulted Deputy S. Cole on July 7th. Sources say the deputy is female. That report says Bell will be charged with assaulting any staff or visitor. One week after the incident, Bell's own attorney told us he knew nothing about this. Now, the same attorney says Bell was sent to Central State Hospital, a mental institution, adding no charges as of now, but may be forthcoming. Meanwhile, it's been more than 10 days since the alleged assault, and yet Sheriff Antoinette Irving has not responded to our several requests for comment. It's not the first inmate assault on a deputy inside the Richmond Jail. Eight News last sat down with James Alexander last year, a former sheriff's deputy. There was an incident where I got my nose broken. He swung and hit me right in the nose. And it was fractured. I fell on my back. I was out for about, I don't know, three weeks. And yet, Alexander said the buck stopped at Irving's desk. I was told that, you know, charges could not be filed. She had made some statements before where information that all charges had to go through her. City Council Member Reva Trammell also tells me that she wants Sheriff Irving to attend an upcoming public safety committee meeting in order to figure out exactly what happened and how. Ben Dennis, 8 News.